I think we have sound. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hello. This morning is Mr. Harvey Najem, and we are here at the grand opening of the Harvey E. Najem Library and Sam Ministries Transitional Living and Learning Center. And we're grateful that all of you are here to celebrate the culmination of this amazing, amazing project. 56 years ago, this building was constructed for the Sisters of Sacred Heart, and in year 2000, this facility became the hub of Sam Ministries Transitional Housing Programs and was named the Transitional Housing, Transitional Living and Learning Center. The program provides housing and supportive services to San Antonio families in need. Here, we house up to 40 families a night, about 150 residents, and nearly 70% or 100 of those residents are children. Overcoming homelessness for families means more than just helping parents. Our child-focused services offered to the children living in our housing programs are among the most important that SAM Ministries provides. Today, through a generous gift of $825,000, I smell a lot, we celebrate the second major renovation of this building in its history, a renovation designed to foster a warm, positive environment for the children in our care. Again, you're standing here in the new Harvey E. Najem Library, and because of Mr. Najem's compassionate generosity, this library is now 60% larger and filled with both traditional hard copy books and state-of-the-art electronic learning tools. Designed to be a family-friendly facility, the library features areas for children. This area back here is for the, the this area back here is for the uh, teens. Uh, the children's area is in the back. We're going to give everybody a chance to look around uh, after we're done with this piece. But an area for children, young adults, and adults. Uh, and each space is equipped with furniture, computers, and learning materials geared to meet the needs of the audience. So providing the children and their families living here with print resources as well as access to electronic media will afford them the opportunity to escape the digital divide, to learn, grow, and find a path to a new life. Again, at the far end of this corner, there's a really special little area we've got. It's a story corner. It's a place where the kids can gather and where guest readers can share their love of books with the children and encourage healthy reading habits. We'll eventually be asking people to sign up and become volunteer story readers. Now, before I turn it over to Mr. Najem, I've got to tell you a little bit about this entrance. So once we, uh, we got the gift from Mr. Najem, uh, we needed to figure out what we were going to do. We had a, a preliminary design, uh, but we needed now to get down to work. So one of the things we hired, we hired uh, library interiors, because we didn't know anything about making a library. And Michael Teller has done, did a great job. Give, give him a hand. <laughs> and then we didn't know how to do all the construction, so uh, Gerstner uh, Construction Company, uh, did all the construction and did a great job as well. Give them a hand. <laughs> so uh, I asked Nikisha, who at that point in time had taken over the responsibility for figuring out, you know, all the colors and you know, working with Michael very intensely. So probably 90% of that is, is her, and she let me make a decision or two just to keep me involved. <laughs> but. Um, you know, she came back and said, after going to the museum and some of the other you know, places around the city where libraries were state-of-the-art, and she came back and said, we need a feature. And I said, it sounds expensive. <laughs> she says, well, I mean, but you know, this is the project. You told me the best of the best of the best. This is Mr. Najem. It has to be the best of the best of the best. And so this is what the best organizations do. So Michael came up with the drawing uh, of the books. And he said, if you want to spend the money, you can actually put the spot, you know, you can put the pages in the books, which is really, really cool. Um, 
And so then he said, well, what are you going to put on the spines? And the Keisha said, well, the top has to be whatever Mr. Nature wants. <laughs> she was right, because it's his money. But then the second part was kind of like, I said, well, faith, hope, wisdom, and knowledge. And they looked at me like, is that Navarra? Did he come up with that? How did he do that? And it's not about me. I was inspired by you. Mm. Because Mr. Najum has faith. He's a very, very successful businessman. He didn't get this money because he was, you know, an inheritance. Worked for over 30 years to build this company. Was able to, you know, monetize his investments and do what he wanted with it. And he decided to found, fund this foundation. Today, you're, what, given $70 million up? $75 million in San Antonio and South Texas. Give him a hand. And I read on your website, over time, you plan to give out another $125 million. To put in the foundation. To put in the foundation. Just, just amazing. So he has faith, and he knows God blessed him. And hope. So what you're doing here is you're providing hope for these children. You know, a homeless child, by the time they get to Sam Ministries Transitional Living and Learning Center, has gone through a journey. Uh, I saw just the other day, it's at uh, Blanco and Lock Hill Selma, where some family's stuff was put out on front of the, the lawn, in front of the lawn, it happened to be probably a rental home. Um, and so you're a child, you're coming home, and your stuff's out there like that. And, you know, it's it, that's just traumatic for you. What, what are we going to do? So then maybe you try to live with some relatives. You try that for a little while, that doesn't last for long. And then maybe you're in your car. And then maybe you're in an emergency shelter. So by the time you get to this program, you know, the child's walking down the hall and they're not saying, hey, I'm at the San Ministries Transitional Living and Learning Center. They're saying, hey, mommy, are we safe? And mom says, yes. Hey, mommy, is this gonna be our home? Yes, son, this is gonna be our home for a little while and these folks are gonna help us get our own home again. And so you're offering hope, knowledge. Well, you've got the resources here to help them work on their educations. And that's the one thing that's gonna make a difference really in their lives when they're at that situation. It's the one thing that made a difference for me, probably made a difference for you in terms of what changes your life. And once you have that education and that knowledge, then you make better choices that gives you wisdom. So please welcome the man that's, that's really responsible for all this, Mr. Harvey Najum. Well, thank you, Navarro. Uh, I guess you were successful in creating a warm environment. <laughs> it is a little warm in here. I guess I should have worn a golf shirt instead of a coat and tie. You know, and it's a beautiful room. I mean, yeah, yes. you would not think that this room was in a transitional living center for families that are homeless. You know, when I walked in here last week for the first time and then we walked back in today, I brought back memories of my childhood and high school. Uh, I would always go up to my father and say, you know, I'm bored. Can I go do this or can I do that? And he would say, no. He says, go read a book. And so he made me read books. So I've got a library, not as many books that are, you have here. Then when I was in high school, I decided to be an assistant librarian. So I'd go to the library every day and work for an hour in the library because I love to be around books and I love to read. Uh, you know, there's a famous quote by Nelson Mandela that says that education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. And what's so neat about this room, is, from my perspective, is that homeless children, as well as children from low-income families, when they go to school, they're behind in reading and math and science. Hopefully this room will help them when they use it to stay at grade level or stay above grade level when they go on and I can tell you of the many, many gifts that we've given to 175 organizations, I have to tell you, I think this is my most favorite gift Aww. because the return on the investment in this room 
and in the room you're going to stay next door is absolutely beautiful. So it's a great honor. Thank you. It's a great honor for me to be here today to uh, help kick off this warm and room. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're going to get out of this warm room in a minute. Uh, but if you would, if you want to walk around a little, look at that story corner. That's the that's the neatest thing. Uh, but you can walk around the room. Then uh, we're going to just take a few minutes. If you want to get some more refreshments, then we're going to go down the hall uh, to the other room, which I believe is cooler. It's cooler in there, right? Yeah. So, okay.